Monday, Monday, feeling so fine. Okay, chop suey. This is where I get my vegetables. Dentros is where I come for this. Oh, look at that. It's got some pork in it. And Annie's got balalu. Ah, I got bulad rice. Bulad rice, which is this one. This is Annie's it's rice. Fried rice with dried fish. It's like four cups with dried fish. <laughs> and uh, the stuff that I don't actually eat, but Annie eats it, she likes it. There's a raw tuna, kini lao with her onions. And uh, got mango shake here, no sugar. And I've got goya bana, no sugar syrup. Because what they turn to do here is I make a shake, put it with ice, put it with a fruit, put it with a condensed milk or vat milk, and then turn around and put sugar on, sugar syrup. So I haven't got that. Uh, what we have noticed is when you order through Food Panda, the chop suey when you order it online is 375 peso when you come in here and order it in Dentros it's only 275 so there is a 100 peso markup on the delivery price uh, we've noticed that a couple of times with um, other, restaurants. other restaurants like Chow King uh, they've got a 40 peso uh, rice is called uh, shofan uh, but when you order it online it's uh, 90 or 105 so you've got to pay your delivery charge for YouTube uh, to uh, grab and to food panda which is 15 or 20 peso but the prices ordering for delivery are uh, going up I don't know why it's like they have a 5% markup. Annie says it's because they have a 5% to 10% markup. There we go. Well, we're going to enjoy our lunch. We're going to get a coffee and an ice cream in a minute. I like this one. Annie likes this with the fried fish. There we go. I have not uh, had it for She's going to take half of this home and she's going to put some steak with it. Because <laughs> she wants to have three pieces of steak with a balalul rice. Anyway. Take care, guys. go in the oh, cars that go in the GoPro to record on 128 SD we're in um, tea and coffee bean 
we did try to go to Starbucks but it was full we went to French Bakery they turned around and told us 15 minutes Annie's making me feel very very tired today we just had lunch and now she keeps doing this So I'm trying to have a conversation with somebody that I think is trying to eat me, but she's not. Okay, um, today, being, being a proud Filipina, there's a lot of, um, what can I say? There's lots and lots of Filipinas here that are proud to be Filipinas and you have to respect them what do I like in a Filipina well I like uh, morena skin I like dark eyes I like long black hair I like the simplicity of family life and I don't like tattoos on a woman's body what I've noticed in the last couple of years two to three years is that there is a massive massive influence now from Japan here in the Philippines and Annie, Annie's interjecting can you hear that the, ch the chipmunk in the background he's going so be there we go she can't stop talking can she see proud Filipina anyway it's Japanese uh, Annie's shaking her head but she'll understand in a minute when I turn around and get to the end of the conversation without being interrupted uh, also Korean and they have this thing about having white skin and straight hair and uh, blonde hair and uh, the thing is why I turn around and say Japanese is that I see a lot and I mean a lot of women under the age of 25 with tattoos of animes on their arms because animes are a Japanese movie culture that is actually crept into the Philippines and people like to have their uh, tattoos on their arm and it could, could be of their favorite character but what, what I see and when I ask the question because normally in the Philippines you'll get a tattoo on your body and it will be about your uh, school it will be about your uh, your youth and uh, your college and it will be like a, a little mark of respect to the school you belong to it could be on your arm it could be on your neck it could be on just above your boob however that's progressing now into these colorful tattoos of animes normally here on your chest the girls walking around um, uh, President Duterte's daughter's got a big a big rose down the middle of her stomach between her boobs a cleavage a big rose you can see that when she wears a ta where she wears a t-shirt uh, and she's in the press uh, but I do see do see these girls and when I talk to these girls about these tattoos the reason they've got them is because they don't actually want to be in the Philippines they want to be in Japan uh, because they like the anime and they like the culture that is on the social media sites of what the animes do uh, I'm not a big fan of anime mainly because I can't see it I don't understand it and I don't understand the language and I can't understand it because I can't read the subtitles Annie likes it Annie likes it a lot uh, and it has this uh, years ago it used to be Tom and Jerry and I used to understand that through you know through American Hollywood comic strips now it's this Japanese thing now with with Korea it's about the culture of the Koreans it's not as much and I was talking to somebody the other day and it's not about the uh, Korean movie scene or the pop scene it's more about the cultural scene of being uh, white having a light skin, losing that, losing losing the, the dark hair and uh, dyeing the hair. Uh, and I'm, not, I'm like looking at it and thinking to myself, well, there's thousands of thousands of really, really, really attractive Filipinas here. Uh, and they like, you'll see them with tattoos on and they don't have it. 
I, one of the reasons I got away from the UK is because English women became overweight, going around in track suits, the cultural belief that I liked of the 60s and the 70s where they were, they were dressed in uh, a nice top and a skirt and it's all gone, they're in a track suit, they look like they've just come out of a sweatshop, uh, they're really overweight, really overweight and uh, they're not really fit, they don't fit my ideology or what I'm looking for. Whereas if you go back in time, which is what Philippines do, they're proud of their heritage, they're proud of what their uh, the country has to offer, they're proud of the family, they're proud of what their beliefs are. And uh, I think that strong cultural belief is, is really, really, really good. Uh, but what, as I said earlier, what I see a lot of now in the last two to three years is this subculture coming in from Korea, Thailand, Japan. Um, Thailand is all about the religion and about the history and it's a lovely island with lovely beaches. Philipp Korea it's all about the culture, the fashion, they love the way the Koreans look. Um, the Japanese yeah yeah and then the, the japanese is all about the cartoons and the animes and they want to live they want to live in japan so there is this cultural belief can the filipinos get to south korea they can if they can turn around and get a visa sorted out if can, they can if they can get a visa to go to japan that beeping is one of those lovely lovely alarms that they have here in the coffee shop uh, great on my brain, but uh, they love going beep 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 Coffee's ready. Beep beep beep. Anyway. Oh, so I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot more of it, and I'm seeing a lot more of the the cultural change from what what I call a true proud Filipina should be. I'm going to show you one now. <laughs> there we go. A true proud Filipina. Oh, sleepy. She's sleepy. There we go. She does sleep. She's waving. Very, very slow. She's waving. We learned a new word today. Nonchalant. 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 It's an overused words for the youngster nowadays. So there we go. So the youngsters now are using the word nonchalant. Anyway, this week uh, we're going to school on Wednesday, and he's going to summer school. 15 to 20 uh, syllabuses to purchase, which will be great. She's doing well on her exams, but I mustn't tell you because she gets really upset. Uh, she punches me in the side of the head. She gives me bugna bugna. Punchy. Your punchy, punchy, punchy. Anyway, guys, it's Monday. Like, share, subscribe, and um, enjoy the vlog. For Kapila Pay Hat, we are, and then the milk was oat milk. Oat milk cookie. Oat milk cookie. Oat milk cookie. Oat milk cookie. Ah, your cookies is oat milk. But the uh, available cookie sir is enough. That's okay. Yeah. Morning.